All right, so good body position. Nice long reach forward. Uh, head position is is good. Uh, the timing or tempo of your stroke seems good. You might be reaching in front of your head a little bit. <clears throat> we'll see that when we see the uh, forward angle. But if so, it's minor and it's on the left side more than the right side. <coughs> Kick looks relaxed, which is what you want for longer swim races. So yeah, as far as streamline goes, you're in good shape. Legs and uh, hips staying in the same line as your upper body as you're swimming. So that is good. And there you can see just a little bit of that left hand or arm sort of reaching directly in front of your head as opposed to in front of your shoulder. What you want is uh, in front of your shoulder. Now catch-wise, your what I would call doing a good job. Uh, what's going on though is you're getting some of the early vertical forearm, not all of it, and then your pull comes back. So your elbow does lead your forearm back towards your torso. Uh, so that's the key piece of improvement for you is working on flexibility uh, and mobility to get more of the early vertical forearm. You're getting some of it, just not all of it. Uh, you'll see it more pronounced in the frame by frame at the end. You're doing a good job of uh, pushing all the way through the stroke, so you're not leaving anything on the table at the uh, the push phase of the stroke. And the path of your hands or your arms through the water is good. You're not doing anything crazy. You're not too wide. You're not too uh, too far under. You're not too deep, not too shallow. So right on as far as that goes. So looking at your, your right arm here, uh, the extension is good. There's a little space in between your, your shoulder and your head. Uh, some of that could just be flexibility, so just keep working on shoulder flexibility and then you're starting to get the catch you're gonna see it, you know more so here right some rounding to the arm more at the hand than anything and then notice how the elbow is coming back towards the torso but the the forearm is still tilted upwards and it's not till you know here or, or the next frame here where your forearm has gone completely vertical ideally that happens much earlier in the stroke so that's the key piece for you to keep uh, refining. Uh, the left is similar but a little worse where the, the angle of the forearm is pitched a bit more upward as your arm comes back towards your torso. So you're starting to catch here you start to see your shoulder roll, rolling inward, which is good. Uh, some rounding of the hand, forearm, upper arm, and then look at the uh, angle of the forearm there, right? So the still kind of pitched at about a 70 degree, and not until much further in the stroke does it go 90 degrees. So that's the key piece. Um, keep working on it, one arm drills, dog paddle drill, etc.